and I have a feeling that it's just dried up. Let's get a, a more accurate uh, weather report for you uh, from Damien Fle uh, Fleming, brought to you by Head and Shoulders, Banal Pakistan, called Dandra Free. Okay, thanks Wilco. Now we need to talk weather. Whether we're going to get a cricket game here tonight. Now I'm just out about 20 metres from the stumps um, and we just go down at the field here. You can see where there's been a bit of rain but it's not saturated. Um, it's 22 degrees so it's not going to get dried that much. The breeze is 13 kilometres an hour so I just don't think um, it's going to dry it substantially but it's not that wet. As I say that there's some drops coming down but as I move closer to the pitch I think the actual run-ups are fine so that won't come into play for the umpires uh, the pitch looks okay I'll talk about that in a second but overall it'll be just how uh, comfortable the umpires are just in that outside circle near down to fine leg third man area for me if we don't get any more rain I reckon we're a good chance to get a game tonight Well, yeah, I hope we do get a game plan because uh, the umpires, as I said, will have the toss at 8 and the match will start at 8.30. Don't think much will have changed, Danny, underneath those covers. Do you, I know we just saw it under there. Might have sweated a little bit, but not a lot. And Would again, that affect uh, the toss decision? Yeah, look, some guys can't say that because of the ball. In, t in terms of what uh, happens to the ball early on, as we know, <coughs> they have to get wet and the seam changes and all of a sudden, you know, it's hard to hold for a spinner or a quick man. So, um... Yeah, I think, do you like to chase more? Um, we saw Karachi, they won the toss, that got abandoned, match 11, that didn't get underway. But again, up front, want to post a total, want to be positive. That now perhaps goes out the window, you're changing because of the underfoot mm. conditions. Yeah, now we've seen these gleaming, sort of shining pitches. The average first inning score here is 155, which surprises me. I mean, I got that from Mazar. Our statistician, and I would have thought it'd be in the region of 170, 180. But there we are. Look at it there. You can see that. You can see that sheen uh, on it. Well, let's. Uh, Damien Fleming has gone back out onto the strip itself to give us his thoughts on the pitch. It's brought to you by Pepsi, Gile Harpal. Okay, we're down here at the pitch area. Ramiz Raja did the earlier pitch report and he was talking about a sheen and I reckon the sheen's sort of gone. The covers have been on it. I mean, it didn't get wet at all, but it just, just feels like it's just a little bit dampish on the top. We're talking about the different lengths um, so far at Sharjah. This sort of length, you can see how far I am from the stumps. This has been getting scored off, these full balls. But as I come down, I'm going to be careful not to get bitten by the spider. On this shorter length here, this has been hard to score. This sort of length here where you're hitting splice height and obviously the bounce has been a win throughout this uh, Pakistan Super League. For me, it doesn't look totally flat. I reckon there'll be some inconsistencies. Maybe the new ball's the best opportunity to score quickly. Um, so hopefully the rain will go away. We'll get a game going. There's nothing wrong with the pitch. We can play straight away here. Batting first. We keep saying that average score. I think 150 is still the target batting first. I don't think it was my imagination, but I think I saw some drops coming down yeah, there, didn't you, absolutely. Danny? Absolutely, yeah. It was definitely so. Still. Yeah, look, here we are. Oh, gosh, yeah, there we are. Now, obviously, that's accentuated or exaggerated because that's uh, through the, the, the floodlights here. Andre Fletcher there with Steve Finn in the red top. Andre Fletcher didn't play in the last game. He, uh, Andre Russell, I beg your pardon. Andre Russell left out. Of the last time that they played, he was just a couple of nights ago, Luke Ronke, Mizbah or Huck. And uh, they do have some issues, so there's no room on a race tonight. Remember, we had that nasty injury. Right, we'll take a little break and we'll be back in just a moment. It's the Kalunders who are having a bit of a team talk here. They've got to get their show on the road against Islamabad United. Uh, the grand staff here in charge of uh, had a thankless task today. They've done a great job. You know, they've been pulling that rope around the ground for the last three hours. <laughs> and uh, who would be a grandson? Wakar, what do you reckon, Wakar? You in this on there? What do you think? No, he didn't need to use it because he's bowling Yorkers that took the pitch out of play. 
smashed your toes in the poles. Errol Walcott there, the um, Aussie brothers, look at them. Aussie the brothers. physio there on the left and Bernie Jones. <laughs> With his Islamabad suit on, yeah, that's looking good there. So there we are now then. In 33 years and about 400 matches, today is the only, the fourth time that Sharjah has seen a no result. The venue has hosted a record 236 ODIs without a no result. And that was, of course, Karachi versus Multan. Those numbers, Danny, I mean, you've been coming here for years. Mm. It's fascinating, isn't it? 236 one-day internationals. Extraordinary. Talk about a Guinness world, world record. record. <laughs> oh, I love a Guinness it, world record. In there. Let's hope that Andre Russell gets a game tonight. And uh, Sunil Narayan, he opens the batting. He's a rejuvenated uh, international cricketer. Samit Patel from England, man of the match in the domestic T20 in England in September. So all the players are really keen to get out. They're keen to get out there. Mohamed Sami, Carl Mills there with the Calunders and Steve Finn there, the England quickie. So, let's hope we're going to get a game tonight that will start recently on time here in Sharjah. It's the 2018 HBL PSL, it's match 12. It's Lahore Calunders against the Islamabad United who were the original, uh, rather inaugural champions in 2016. And it's the Karachi Kings and the Multan Sultans. That was the first game today, it was a match abandoned. So it's a point each for the Kings and the Sultans. Quetta in there in third, Zalmi in fourth. Zalmi beat Quetta here last night in dramatic finish. And uh, that was thanks to Darren Sami and Islamabad under the uh, coaching directorship here of this man, Dean Jones need to get some points tonight and of course the Calunders are point less after three outings. Danny Morrison alongside Mustafa Jul Rahman, they've got, they're a team full of talented yeah. players. They are and I tell you the other thing about it and, and, and having spent time here in the UAE, Sinan Iran, the list goes on, uh, the Rana brothers, really good people, really are and uh, you think they just need something to click because whether it's the way McCullum goes about his cricket, he's different. You know, he is different. He, he's the sort of guy that loves to go from the get-go. Um, as um, Tom Moody was saying, he's, he's that sort of style, whereas Kumar Sangakara, he likes to blossom, take his time from the top of the order. Um, and he was bossing this team tour because he was laying down um, a, a massive message to say, hey, we have to get some points here tonight. Well, what he has said, and he said it publicly, hasn't he? He said, look, he said, what we've done so far is not good enough not good enough to our owners or to the, our supporters. He's a great man. L love his, I love his attitude to the game. He's given everything. He's been a wonderful servant of cricket for New Zealand and uh, he plays a brand of cricket that's just wonderful. Now then, what about Andre Russell? He's been out of the game for uh, a year or so, but he's back and he's back with his Lumberbud United. Didn't play in the last game, but uh, Andre Russell has so much to offer. One year out of cricket, you know, it's been a long year and, um, you know, time flies and I'm happy that, you know, I'm back and in a lovely environment like this. I've been out of this environment for 14 months, so it's not going to come back in one game or in a month. It's an improving process where I need to improve every day. I'm not happy with how I am at the moment. And um, I just want to, you know, s stay intact where, you know, I don't get loose. Make sure that I get the job done, put in the work in the training, and then it will get easier in the game. This is the big moment, the big night for the United. They richly deserve this. I've been a part of a lot of winning teams around the world. I see a lot of potential in this team and I see a strong team. Um, to be fair, I think this team is stronger than the first year that I was here. So, no doubt about it. Once we get our um, game mind ready and once we get the momentum that we need, I just think 
we're gonna hurt some teams and that's what we need to do like just to make sure we stay in the top four just play some good cricket well I certainly hope we see this uh, all-rounder and he's just got so much to offer I was slightly surprised Danny weren't you that he wasn't in the lineup for the last match well he's a two-for-one player he smashes the heck out of the ball and I know destroy he's bowling. Yeah, look at that. Destroy yeah, it. Hashtag destroy it. And I, okay, I know he's a little bit off the mark there because of his, you know, game time. You, you can't sacrifice time in the middle. It's about that, isn't it? You don't do as much work as you like in the nets. It's not the same as playing in the middle. So yeah, I think we're all a bit uh, bemused of what was going on there with that selection. Yeah. Right. Okay. It's that toss. And what do the captains do? I mean, we've had this rain and we've had this drizzle and we've had the covers on and everything else, but. Right, the toss is brought to you uh, by Ramiz Raja uh, with Allied Bank as well. Abke Dilme Hamara account. Yes, we're ready with the all-important toss. The two captains are out here. Miss Balak leading the United side and Alanders is led by Brendan McCullum. We've got Rabia as the mascot and we've got Mohamed Anis as the match referee. Who has got the coin? Brendan, here we go. Heads is the call. It's a tail. Tail. It's come down as a tail. What's happening? Are we going to have a bowl first? Any particular reason? Yeah, look, obviously a little bit of rain around and um, we're not quite sure. The wicket's been undercover, so not sure how it's going to respond. And um, a little bit of dew maybe later on too. I mean, your record against these guys is not bad. You've beaten them twice. Yeah, look, uh, we've actually been playing okay. I know, that's, I know we, where we sit on the ladder doesn't suggest that we do, but we just got to smooth out a couple of the rough edges. We know we've got a very good side. We've just got to make sure we're cohesive on the field and, and we put our best foot forward and we're looking forward to playing against these guys tonight. Right, the breaking news, uh, there's this lad from Kashmir that is going to play today, is that right? Yeah, yes, yeah, Zershad gets his opportunity today, so it's really exciting for him. Um, you know, he's a fantastic kid and and uh, it's a wonderful story as well so we wish him all the best nothing to do with Shaheen's form he's been brilliant as well but it's a long tournament for young guys too so we want to uh, we want to get both those guys going so it's exciting and finally your take on this pitch looks a little different more gloss and shiny yeah it does it just um, a little bit tacky but look it always plays well here probably a little bit lower bounce than what Dubai um, normally serves up so it's a good wicket here it's a nice place to bat and and it's a great crowd in tonight too so we're pleased that we're playing good luck thank you Mesba batting first, do um, you think you'll face few wobbles at all or are you comfortable with the thought? Yeah, I think uh, it's the trend of the tournament but uh, uh, we need to bat better uh, the way we did in the last game. I think even yesterday, I think Quetta was at par, uh, 10 more runs or 15 more runs could have been just made a big difference in the game. So. Whether you are batting first or batting second, I think you need to score 150 plus on this pitch. So that's what you need to just look at uh, by uh, starting when you are starting your inning. Right. What about the bowling? You happy with the bowling? Uh, I think we could have done a little bit better. Uh, uh, understanding of the conditions, uh, bowling more accurately those length balls into the pitch, uh, which are difficult here. Uh, in charge to play because of the bounce, uh, not consistent and the pace is not consistent. So we need to be more accurate in that. Right. You've got a mascot in the backdrop. Uh, you've got to roar like a lion today. Yeah, obviously. Uh, I mean, mascot is there and uh, it's, it's a pack uh, house Friday. So I'm mean, happy that we are playing today and uh, hopefully we just uh, gave them a good show. Fantastic. Have a good one. Yeah, thank you. Right then, the news from the centre out here is that Kalanders have won the toss and will bowl first. I don't think that's a surprise, the fact that we've got the rain around and um, Brendan McCullum uh, opting to bowl first. And uh, Danny, this youngster, Salman Ershad, uh, he was found uh, during a trial, mm. it was a trial and 150k an hour we're talking about exciting isn't it and yeah look having seen and been involved with a couple of those scenarios there where they they do they, they go out and they do find a quickie you know find a quickie find bats and find young rising talent to be on show and so they're trying to unearth more of that so the calendars are very very proactive and they like to initiate that sort of scenario go out and find some talent and that's what psl is about so yeah. it's about unearthing future stars 
that can play ideally at the highest level for Pakistan. Yeah, well, this crowd as well has been patient. None of these would have seen the young Salman Irshad. We'll see him shortly. I haven't seen him. You've seen him, Danny? Have you seen him? No, no. And, and I've looked at some of these guys, the different guys on footage of YouTube. And uh, yeah, 150 Ks has been rumoured to get up yeah. to. So very exciting. And I'll tell you, this excited crowd would dearly love to see him firing. So this crowd has been patient. They've been here for hours. They didn't have cricket. They didn't have cricket uh, for the first match, so we're all geared for this one. Kalandas against Islamabad, it'll be Islamabad, they've been put into bat. We're looking forward to play in this uh, match, it's the second of the doubleheader. The first match was abandoned Multan against Karachi, but this is Islamabad and their fans are in and they are playing, of course, the Lahore Kalandas who will be bowling. The problem for the Kalundas is the nature of their collapse. They'll be getting some starts with Narayan and Brendan McCullum. In their last match was against Karachi. This was Narayan having a waft outside off stump against Guzman Shamwari. That was Brendan McCullum. He got to 44 and he, uh, this is McCullum. He was a judged LBW playing the reverse sweep and he got to 44, Danny. Yeah, it was a shame because he was in control. Umar yeah. Akmal. Yeah, I mean, when you looked at it and you saw that you watched his highlights, um, at the top of the order, they can strike it and they can play aggressively and positively, but I think some of the strategy here, Will, goes, look, they just keep going. They say, look, back yourself, keep firing, play with freedom, but at the moment, it's certainly not working because they've played three, lost three. That's a little unlucky. I mean, that's a screamer from Joe Denley. Out of this world. Yeah, Dennis Ramden going. Oh. Tamar Mills is so difficult to get away at the end. And he picked up wickets at the end. And uh, that was the end. Shane. Oh, Shane Afridi. Uh, Shimari, another wicket for him. And unfortunately for Mr. Fisher Rahman, he was the last man out. Pawad Rana is the owner of the Kalundas and uh, he takes it stoically, doesn't he? Takes he, it on the chin. I was going to say he's thick skinned because he needs to be with a thick moustache. Yeah, he's a character and yeah, life's, you know, you've got to move on and bounce on. And hey, look, Tanu's, today's a new day, a new night, new opportunity for uh, the Lahore franchise. So forward Rana, I mean he's great. He just he interacts with the with the fans for the Kalundas and it's such a huge franchise. It's Lahore for goodness sake. It's Lahore Kalundas. Well let's look at their team. It's Brenda McCullum and Sunan Arayan, Fakir Saman, Umar Akmal, Dinesh Ramdin from the West Indies, Aga Salman who bowls off break, Sohail Akhtar, Yasir Shah, the leggy, Sohail Khan, Mustafa Rahman and Salman Irshad. He's the youngster who we're looking forward to seeing. David. What about Islamabad? Luke Ronke, Sahib Zada Farhan, Asif Ali, JP Dumini, the South African all-rounder, Misbah, the skipper, Hussein Talats, the uh, forceful left-hand bat, Andre Russell is in, Samit Patel is in, Fahim Ashraf, Shadab Khan, the leggy, and Mohamed Sami. You've got two very good teams right there. Danny, I mean, it's difficult to pick a winner here. Look, it's a very good tournament. And how's the catching? 95% of the catches have been taken so far in this tournament. And the names that have come here to play in the Pakistan Super League, uh, they're big stars. It's a quality tournament. So looking forward to another one, match 12. For Steve Finn, not in this match. Steve Finn, I'll tell you something, he took a good catch as well in uh, Dubai. How about some of these catches? What do you reckon? This is Junaid Khan. That was a superb catch. Yeah, in running Dubai. in never easy. And you've uh, got to keep your eye on the ball. You've got to back yourself too, because it's the last moment you know you've got to dive and get there. Oh, yeah. Boom, boom. <laughs> take the bow. No, he'll take his stance. There it is. That'll be a statue of him up north in Pakistan. That's outstanding, isn't it? The more you see it, the better it gets. Boom. Yeah, boom. He knows it. And another brilliant catch. Ahmed Shazad. 
Oh, yeah. It's stuck to another night that pops out. Oh, goodness, you enjoyed that. This is Ibtisam Sheikh, caught and bowled. Another brilliant catch. This time the youngster, Fazalmi. Yeah, made it look easy in the end because they're never easy. Running back under the darkness and the lights. Amar Ali, what a great follow by Spider Cam and Amar Ali running back and taking this over his shoulder. You've got to judge this to perfection, otherwise you're going to spill it. And that was brilliantly done. What a good fielder he is. And this is Ibtisam again. He did well to get there. Took it with both hands. The teenager hurling himself around all that youth. Enthusiasm, 95% of the catches taken here this year. Mohamed Afiz, another one of those diving catches. He's got a great pair of hands as well. You know, you've got to then keep hold of the ball once you've landed. That's well, the problem. Well done, old man. Oh, this, where'd you put this? That's Shaheen Afridi and Umar Akmal. Shaheen Shah Afridi, the youngster, he knew he wasn't going to catch it, so he palms it back inside. I thought even the ball boy might get involved, but he didn't. And Joe oh. Genley, is that the best of them? Is this the best of them? Well, do you put them into oh. categories and say, you've got your boundary catches, yes. and then you've got those that are inside the circle close to the bat? Well, this was Chadwick Walton. It didn't count because it was off... Um, uh, free, hit. free hit, but I reckon that's as good as you, you get oh. as well. One-handed Chadwick Walton from the West Indies. Oh, helps being a keeper too, just quietly. And just look at this, you, you've referred to this, the highest catch success rate in major T20 leagues. Pakistan Super League at 90%, the, the T20 Blast, 88% in England, the Indian Premier League, the IPL 84, the Big Bash, 81. The Pakistan Super League last year, 80%, and the Big Bash again, 78. But the Pakistan Super League this year, big improvement. And that's it's, great it's to see. That's what you want. Exactly what you want moving forward. Right, we're going to take a break. This man needs the points tonight. Dean Jones, coach. United, United's coach. United. Of, uh, Islamabad. <laughs> He's got the suit on. He means business tonight. Brenda McCullum and the Lahore Kalunders have won the toss and he has put Islamabad into bat. And uh, the Kalunders, well, they've got to find the formula tonight. They played three and lost three. And for Islamabad, well, they're a team, both teams are bristling with talent, all round talent. And one of the younger ones, the, one, of, one of the finest talents we saw. Last year coming through is Islamabad's Shadab Khan. आप से लगता है कि अगर पिछले PSL के बाद मेरे पाकिस्तान टीम में डेब्यू हो रहा है अलग शुक्र है अब पूरे दुनिया में मेरे नाम मतलब पहचाना जाता है तो आप से लगता है लेकिन अभी मैं कोशिश कर रहा हूँ कि मेहनत करूँ और इसके ज़्यादा इम्प्रूवमेंट लाऊँ This has got to be, it's got to be, he has done it, Shadab Khan has struck gold. My team in Islamabad United, they picked that guy, I didn't know anything about him, Rehan and Hassan, uh, as an emerging player. And when he joined us here, first day we saw him in Nets, and we realized me and Dino straight away, this guy got the spark, and we played him straight away. अगर आप सिर्फ लेग स्पिन करते हैं तो उस पर सर्वाइव नहीं हो सकता क्योंकि वो अच्छे क्रिकेटर होते हैं तो उसके बाद फिर मैंने रॉन्ग वन स्टार्ट की फिर मुशीबे के साथ तो एक्शन एक्शन मेरे ख्याल से सबसे ज़्यादा एक्शन ही ज़रूरी होता है अगर आपका एक्शन थोड़ा चेंज हो जाता है तो बैट्समैन रीड कर लेता है तो बैट्समैन अगर रीड कर लेते फिर आपसे आउट नहीं हो सकता ब्रिलियंट गूगली एंड इट्स सो क्विक That's the difference at the pace that he gets on that googly. Difficult to pick, but off the wicket it skids on as well. He got the variations, and 
What is special about his variation is his googly. Because his action is not that easy, that you can pick the googly easy. So that makes him so special and he's not afraid of just bowling those uh, varieties at different batsmen. So these kind of qualities always make uh, special, the leg spinner, very special. Sum him up, Danny. Oh, look, a little star. I think a hashtag star boy on the back of his shirt. Shut up. Star boy he is. Yes. Star boy is. And you've got the likes of Wahar Yunus in that team for Islamabad as well. So we're all ready for this one. Islamabad against Lahore Kalandas. Kalandas have won the toss and they will bowl. We're going to see Islamabad to bat first. Sharjah International Cricket Stadium. They've had an abandonment with match 11, but this is match 12. And the weather has improved immensely for Lahore taking on Islamabad. It's a double here there on a fabulous Friday. Pitch, and there's that usual sort of sheen about it. It's uh, probably that little bit more damper with the covers being on the 22 yards for some considerable time this, uh, earlier this evening. Toss just a little wide go, hosted by Ramis Raja, and it went the way of Brenna McCullum, who said to Mispa, we're going to have a bowl first. Thanks Mispa, so get your pads on please. And the teams, uh, here is Islamabad United, and, uh, well both sides, littered with so much talent, some young raw talent, and there's some establishing talent, you've got a couple of big old guns and the captain. JP Dumini has been around the scene for a long time. Luke Ronke, of course, retired from international cricket up the top there, the keeper batsman. Summit Patel, been around the scene for a while too. And Mohamed Sami, bringing up the rear. Very, very handy. Still at 37 years of age. Contrast, yeah, star studded this when you look at McCullum and Sunil Ryan, Fakir Zaman, Umar, Akmal, look at Dinesh Randon, all that talent and experience at the top. And uh, even Mustafa Zair Rahman, you've got Sahail Khan, yes, Ashad. There's some talent to burn there, but they've played three and lost three. And they've got to get their act here tonight and put points on the board. It's as simple as that. Crowd, big crowd, has hung around as you'd expect. Want to see some action. We had Kings up against the Sultans and it didn't eventuate. Mother Nature had her say. So they took a point each and go to seven and five respectively. And we've got a bottom of the table clash right here, right now. Islamabad up against Lahore. Fizzing on out in the middle. Just, oh, look, false start. Don't beat the captain over the rope, Rummies Raja. That's the call. Let the captain go first. Yes, yeah, now. Now you can go and stop the fun, stop the show. Extremely engaging at the toss, Brendan McCollum. And look very excited, at including a, a young Kashmiri speedster. Yasser Shah will be the key guy for him on a pitch like this. Here at Charger, spinners are supposed to rule the roost. Let's see how they approach this game. There have been a lot of questions asked regarding Kalanda's approach seem to self-implode nothing wrong with the drone though uh, that's well caught uh, they waited patiently it's a huge crowd almost a sellout that to see off bad weather and no play in the first part of the day and now they'll have their say come the evening session Luke Ronke can blaze his way through with some splendid fours and sixes. He's a go-getter, strike rate of 143. Best of 43, likes to cut the ball, likes to rotate the strike, likes to hit sixes. Sabzada Farhan is his partner, scored heavily at the domestic level. Right. 
Fakhar Zaman is going to open the bowling attack. Left arm spin. Danny Morrison, what do you think? Wow. Yeah. But, uh, may have expected a bit of pace first. Gillette countdown underway. Bremel Martinez about to say play. There you go. And we're underway, match 12. Oh, and he's held this back. Oh, super slow mo almost from Fakhar Zaman with the first one. He's not a big spinner of the ball, but uh, he's got five wickets in a list A game. That was for Pakistan A. Oh, almost a result and a good one. They've gone for the appeal. They're dead sure that they've got the batsman out and he's walking. Ronke dismissed. Fakhar Zaman has picked up a wicket. Holy smoly. Turn out with Fakhar Zaman to bowl the very first over here. And it is paying dividends right from the get-go. Yep, Castle wasn't the keeper. Dennis Ramden, it's actually hit the poles. Lovely bit of flight. Deception, yeah, took the bail. Leg bail has been disturbed by Fakhar Zaman. Yeah, that's all good. Totally legitimate with the front foot. So uh, this is exciting stuff for Lahore Calendars. Just want to make absolutely certain straight down the barrel and there it is confirmation yeah i did him in for good length what's the confusion about the batsman is uh, securely placed in the dugout yeah and that is what it was, bold. Uh, they're waiting for the big screen to let them know what had happened. Out. It was out five minutes ago. <laughs> Great stuff. None for one. Let's have uh, JP Dumini, please, out in the middle. He's ready to rock and roll. Hey. So left hand versus left hand. And the first runs for Islamabad United, courtesy of JP Dumini. Ronke, Gonski, for a big blob. Yeah, I mean, the ball never seemed to have arrived, and he was through with the shot. Just a slight bit of spin, nothing more than that. But uh, that's a good blow. Really was a good blow. They needed to get rid of dangerous Ronke. Ow! Oh, almost crept through this one as well. Ronke, four innings. Two of them have been ducks. Gonna have to address that. At the top. Oh, a little feather there possibly, but no. He's holding it back beautifully, bowling slow. Yeah, no pace at all. And so once again, a batsman threw with the shot before the ball had arrived. Turning just ever so slightly. And that's the line that deceived Ronke on that middle and leg stump channel. What a start. What a pick by Brendan McCullum to start the show for Kalandas. It's wide of the crease with those outswingers. See if he can get the radar right and get in the groove early too. Yeah, there are a few bowlers who uh, blossom late and he appears to be one of them. 33 years of age and since last couple of years he's improved. He knows what he's, he's doing. It's the length ride, gets it to move away as well. Much more in control of his art these days than about five, seven years ago.
certainly unique Think back to a different generation with uh, the great South African Fani de Villiers call and call umps Emil Martinez and uh, Kala Mahmood are our call and call umpires standing out in the centre keeping it cool well it is this evening appreciably cooler Waka Yunus with a hot cuppa back of the dugout Owning in there around Midland leg. Let's see how he handles with a couple of dot balls. Sabzada Farhan. Watch the game exclusively live on Cricket Gateway and for international viewers, cricketgateway.com. I hope you're having a gala time. Today it's a full house. And sadly, we didn't have the first game because of the rain now. Full throttle on. has been put down was it an opportunity have a look at this one Callum tidies up but cramped for room I just want to have a look at this down the line in the replay we can watch this came back quickly though no he didn't get a hand on it too wide obviously he wanted to hit it over mid wicket but uh Hit it straight back through mid off. That's still outside. Get in, boys. The game has just started. There's a lot of interest for this game. Yeah, a lot of tension around for both these teams. It's as I say, it's five playing six on the ladder. Hoare, massive franchise, and these fans here are looking for the Pepsi catcher crawl. A couple of good catches in the crowd, of course. Share of a million depends how many go into sharing the uh, big prize. Got to be shared amongst uh, maybe I don't know four, five, six, eight, ten catches over the tournament. More oh, thrashing and flashing blade early doors. Yeah, for a newcomer, I think it's important to rotate the strike as it is the end of the second over. Five for one. Look as Aman gets another over. There's protection out there. And I've just been handed a wonderful little stat here. Look as Aman's average speed in his first over is the slowest huh, by plenty in the PSL so far. Under 80 Ks, it was 79.23 all this hang time it never arrives Wilco yeah I, I, like you <laughs> go on Wilco I was just wondering how that would compare with uh, Mohamed Nawaz that we saw last night because he's bowled beautifully in this tournament uh, that's a lovely drive strong drive by JP Dumini first boundary of the unit of the innings Uh, that's good that he's in at number three because he can do this is extremely good against spin and on a spinning track you'd want him there early doors well it took a long time to get 14 didn't he he took 26 balls the other evening to get 14 used up a lot of deliveries so this is a chance for him to to bat long and to get the reward what pace is he bowling Danny 70s I thought it was minus 70 I love the 70s music. Rambo. 70s. <laughs> that. That, to, to, that is actually a great ploy on the surface, given the fact that the covers have been on for so long and a lot of rain around too. Yeah, but you've got to hit the good length. You can't under pitch and over pitch with that pace. Yeah, he's, he's surely been a bit of a surprise, but he's been a good surprise. Yeah, I mean, it's a typical regular Sharjah pitch that we played on. Bit of shine and gloss and the mosaic tiles have gone. It's not a rough surface. The ball will skid and possibly grip for the spinners later on. Yeah, Dumini's had enough of that. He says, look, I've got to come down and try and create my own pace. 
he'll keep the strike will JP it's 13 for one on in at three here now the South African all-rounder in his last two T20 internationals got 55 in Cape Town against India and 64 not out against India at Centurion so he, he's brought form here side and gather that from the fence yeah I mean you can see that uh, he's in good form because that was hardly hit just a flick of the wrist and away she went well timed just a bad delivery from Soil Khan on the pads JP Dumini is good enough really to put it away into the gap Gave the commentators curse last night. I said that Hafiz brought stability to the team. First ball after the break, bang out. Good at that, Al, aren't you? Yeah, a good knack for it. Nearly back onto the stumps. I'll end up getting a single from it. Classic. It's an urgency required from those in red. I say Errol Alcott, the physio, has been a busy camper with uh, Roman Race. In terms of his injury, I'd like to know more about that, actually. You know? Oh, do you know, uh, Ramiz? Yeah, I think he's, he's out for at least uh, two weeks, about two weeks. So uh, it is relatively serious. 14 days of no cricket, probably missed a good part of PSL, if not the entire leg of PSL, which is sad because he's a real trier and a, and a team player, and I thought he led them well in the first game also. This is how it happened to him. Just dug his knee into the ground, wanted to slide to stop the ball. He did stop the ball, but did a fair bit of damage to his knee. Unfortunate. Yeah, and his vice captain, and also thrown the mix. He's uh, probably got the best bowling average inside the power plays. Economy rate, that is, rather. Room and race. Yeah, slower balls, changes the pace. It's key. 31% of it. Sahel Khan. PSL, this is season three. And Sahil Khan, he picks up wickets as well. When he was with Karachi, that is. He's wearing the green of uh, the Kalundas this year. He was the blue of Karachi last year. 22 wickets in PSL. Smack. But he's got a good change, change of pace, isn't he, Danny? And the, the, the secret of a bowler to, to bowl with the change of pace is not to change your arm speed it's, it's 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 in the grip isn't it the other thing about it is actually bowling slower balls with the new ball I tend to think about in terms of 50 50 cricket the ball gets a little older particularly when you only used to use one and they went back to two balls back to one back to two balls and now the shortest format you've got to be comfortable from the get-go learn to be able to bowl slower balls right from the outset it's an effort ball, but certainly holding that new ball with a proud seam and the lacquer on it to be comfortable bowling slower swingers or slower cutting type deliveries. So Hale's impressive. That's the Ashfield box for you. Very energetic. Just clubbing it straight down the throat of the man at long on. Oh, for Han. Trying to establish himself. He's used up 16 deliveries. He's only got half a dozen. And now he's back for an early shower. It's 18 for two. Out nice and early. It's got cramped a little. So it was there. It certainly was. And he could have either hit it a bit straight or just dragged it a bit more to the onside. He'd been in business with a boundary. As it was, he found soon on the right. Half-hearted shot, maybe. Just feeling his way through this innings and uh, is new to the task. 
but he comes with a with a strong tag behind him he's got runs at the domestic level and he's been hailed as a as a good talent to serve pakistan sunil narayan so a bit of extra spin now in the form of sunil narayan i think brendan mccullum has read this pitch as a spinning track where the ball will not skid oh and straight away some spin and appreciable spin where's the slip this has gone almost square good luck with that jp yeah <laughs> great replay gentlemen yeah i'm with you too rambo you're right i think with all that covering of the pitch and the moisture around it's gonna see a lot more of this Schmoly. Both batsmen of the bowler, same expression. McCallum at slip now. Lovely flight. There's going to be a handful on this. Time for a selfie. Getting ready with the phone. The Opal Sisters. <laughs> the Oppo sisters, gold. There you go, there's one of the sisters. Just incredible what turn Sunil and Orion gets out of this pitch and, and with such minimal application of the fingers around the ball. He's an extraordinary bowler. Yeah, not only spin, but he's accurate. Now, is he can be unplayable on this track. The early glimpse showing us what he can do here. And such a turner like this can have a devastating effect in the dugout. Oh! I catch it. And JP is a very good player of spin bowling, by the way, and he's finding it tough. One to go in the fifth, looking for a maiden soon on the run. and it would be his first in the PSL if he does. Oh, I think that is a maiden, isn't it? Now you've ruined it, Ellen. <laughs> Again. <laughs> I'm going to keep an eye on the umpire. Oh, it's not. It's a run. 90. Change of the bowling. Fizz is into the attack, and it's been worked to the offside. JP Dumini is trying to get himself going. He got bogged down when he uh, first arrived over here in the UAE, and he's 14 from 13. Alongside me, Baz and Flem. It's uh, an interesting start. The pitch, you're out there, Flam. It's got a bit of more of a darkness to it. It suggests that it's got a little bit of moisture in it. Yeah, certainly. I don't think water actually got onto it straight away, but I think it just seeped through the covers a little bit. And it just it was a little bit damp on top, so it took away that sheen that Ramiz Raja was talking about before the previous game. And you can see that it's just gripping a little bit. Yeah. And Dumini was going all right, but once Narayan started to turn the ball, all of a sudden in your defensive frame of mind because he's not sure which way it's turning. Yeah. And do we know we've got the big hitter in Miss Barra Huck when he gets going? He get hit it out of the ground, Bass. But it's interesting now, isn't it, to know what a competitive total is. Correct. He bowls a lots of slow balls and his length again is is shorter of that good length and charger that works. That's his oh, cutter, yeah. and today, like you mentioned, it's going to grip and it's going to turn, and it's going to be a handful. A good indication if you're a fast medium who bowls cutters, if the spinners are spinning him, your cutters are going to grip. Well, we and haven't seen big turn until today here, so that's interesting, and it's probably got to do with the moisture, just that little bit of moisture, changing the colour of the pitch. It's also a pitch that was used two days ago. And Narayan, he was getting them to talk. They were really fizzy. And you would think it was a good toss to win because you never know batting first yeah. with this amount of help what, when to go hard and when to rein, rein in because now 21 for 2, almost power play done. So, a bit of a struggle for United. Yeah, I have uh, struggled at times with their batting, haven't they? Just being able to get a flow on. In their last game, it was Ronke who got them off to the fly. He was the highest scorer. But he's gone. He's gone early. They only got a score of around 140, even with um, the wrong getting going. So unfortunately, he's got to 
Watch the batting. He's got a big job to do with the gloves, so the rock, and he'll do a fine job there as well. But the Fizz, he's bowled uh, a couple of slow balls, a couple of full pace deliveries already. He'll mix it up a lot on this pitch. Really gifted T20 bowler. Well, that's perfect from uh, JP Dumini. Really nice stroke through the offside. It's an authentic cut shot. Pace on the ball this time from the face then. Just give him that room to manoeuvre it past point. Freed his arms, short of a length, comes on nicely and hits it well. A cool shot. Yeah, so uh, nice stroke, 18 from 15. He's got himself going, JP Dominic. What we've learned from uh, the wickets here at Sharjah, you just can't give any width. If you bowl pretty much corridor and just change your length a little bit, very tough to score. Tries to go in a similar area there. A little bit closer, it's 25 for two now. And uh, after this ball, we're going to get to my fellow music lover. Over to you, Zainab. The star boy Shadab Khan is here with me. Shadab, uh, uh, two wickets to hai, early wickets for Islamabad United. But uh, generally, we have seen that it's been raining today. Do you think it will impact the pitch or conditions? हाँ जिस तरह बिल्कुल पूरे पीएसएल में अभी तक जितने भी मैच जो इतने स्पिन नहीं हो रहा था अब देखें इस मैच में अच्छा स्पिन हो रहा है तो कोशिश करेंगे आज लाइज करें अपने प्रोवाइड इस विकेट पे आपको क्या लगता है कि कितना टारगेट होना चाहिए डिफेंड करने के लिए मेरे ख्याल से 140 प्लस होना चाहिए क्य अभी तक हमने आपको इन उस तरह से एक्शन नहीं देखा विकेट्स वगैरह जिस तरह देखते हैं क्या उस क्या कहेंगे कंडीशंस पे डालेंगे या क्या रीजन है कि हमने अभी तक शादाब खान को उस तरह से फॉर्म में नहीं देखा नहीं कंडीशन तो नहीं बस मेरे ख्याल से मेरे से अच्छा अच्छी बॉलिंग वगैरह नहीं हो रही कोशिश कर रहा हूं कि मैं अपनी मेहनत भी डबल कर दी है जिस तरह मैं पहले कर रहा था कोशिश कर रहा हूं कि अपने रिदम में आऊं और आउट करने की कोशिश करूं आपकी बैटिंग जो है वो तो हमने न्यूजीलैंड में भी देखी जनरली हम देखते रहते हैं बहुत एक जैसे कहते हैं डिफरेंस नजर आया तो उस पे भी स्पेसिफिकली काम करते हैं जी बिल्कुल कह रहा हूँ जिस तरह के हमारे बैटिंग लाइनअप है उसमें देना चांस नहीं मेरा लेकिन मैं अपने नेट्स में अपनी बारी करता हूँ कि अपने फॉर्म को जारी रखने की कोशिश कर पॉइंट पे आप खड़े होते हैं जबरदस्त कैचेस लेते हैं फील्डिंग को एंजॉय करते हैं जी बिल्कुल मेरे ख्याल से किसी भी क्रिकेटर के बैटिंग बॉल अपने हाथ में नहीं होती फील्डिंग होती है तो वो मैं कोशिश करता हूँ वो जितना ज्यादा एंजॉय करूँ वो कर चले थैंक यू सो मच शादाब ऑल द बेस्ट फॉर टूडेज गेम थैंक यू थैंक यू Fantastic getting the players throughout the match uh, and great job from Zainab as well. We're alongside the United dugout here and uh, we've got uh, Sue three Jones. three padded up, three padded up Mick. Three padded up and beyond that is uh, the coach slash manager oh, Sue yeah. Jones. He's back in the suit today. Intimidating. Very official. And uh, nicely bowled. It's a great start from Narayan, 28 for 2. Chairman of Selectors, Pakistan, Inzaman. It was great to have a chat to a guy that was very tough to bowl to. Real classy batsman, Inzaman. A lot of power, didn't he? When he decided to go, yeah. no one hit the ball harder than Inzaman. Yeah, and when he came down the track, he was always going to be six. He's never going to come down and, and miss just the length. And I think that's exactly what Islam would have to do. Once that ball's floated up, you've got to go. Well, I like watching, um, oh, there's a good laugh. This is going to be a great battle between two fine players, isn't it? Yassish, uh, gifted leg spinner, Misbal Al-Haq, who likes to come down the pitch and he likes to hit sixes straight down the ground. Just like to, to see Shah slow it down a bit, try and get more turn. Straight to the man in the D, but at the moment he, he slides him through and he doesn't get a lot of turn. Well, interesting, Yassish uh, played for the Brisbane Heat and the Australian Big Bash and... They had Mitch Swepson and Shadat Khan. Their leggies actually hit the pitch really hard. They bowled quick and they hit the pitch hard and really tried to spin it. So they didn't actually encourage the batsmen to come down and use their feet. Yeah, but you're not really encouraged the spin. That's the only thing. I haven't seen big spin from him yet. Nicely bowled. Nicely bowled. Well, there's plenty of spin on offer here. So even if you don't really bowl it slowly, even with that fast paced delivery, It'll get spin and look at that spinning back. There's a bit of moisture. More loop though. He did slow that up, but that's a terrific delivery through the gate. 
So close to being out. Oh, oh, it's out. That's oh. out. That's into the boulevard of bewilderment. That looked like it was pretty straight going on to hit the stumps. JP is going to go to Miss Bar and go, what do you think? What do you think, Bass? I think that's dead. Just not high. Not no, just quick, and he's missed it. That's the only, only chance, maybe too high. Yeah, I, I th I'm looking at height there. I, I, it's lined up, there's no doubt about it. I'm just wondering about the height. Definitely challenging it. It looked straight, didn't it? Definitely looked straight. He goes through the procedure now, and uh, that's the first shot. Very rarely do you see the no ball. It's got the overspin, a bit of googly, looking for oh, the googly. It's a lot of overspin, Mick. It's pre hit him pretty high. Are we agreeing on anything at the moment? No, not at Have all. Have we ever? <laughs> well, I'd like you to sit down so I can see the monitors as well. Oh, It'd be so nice funny. if we could gel here. So we're just looking at, uh, there's definitely no bat on it. And he's dipped in, in the shot, isn't he? He's come down, he's bent his leg. So but let me get this out. What are we looking at? Well, I'm only, leg? I, I've just thrown it in there height, but right. he's bowed down into the shot. So it has been given out, let's not forget. It was pitched outside leg. So it was the so actual line out. that it pitched. So the line has uh, cost the decision. And Brendan McCullum is just questioning a few things. If I can ask you two to sit down, Flemo. The Basically, all three of us were wrong. You went for height, we went, yeah, that's out, but it's pitch outside leg. And uh, I still reckon it was out. There you go. Well, Flemo came in very quickly and set out. He asked you, what did you say, Matt? I said out. You I said, said out. But it's I said if there's anything, I thought height, and it was the height. You're line. always on about height, aren't you? You're very conscious about height. <laughs> Especially sitting with us two, isn't it? Sorry, Joel Garner. No. So, uh, That's a uh, harsh loss of review, isn't it? Yeah. It, just, it was just a, maybe a centimetre off being out. Well, that works for United, losing their third wicket. They'll be uh, in a spot of bother, given that throughout this PSL, we've just seen them lose wickets far too regularly. Oh, geez. And uh, it's a good start, isn't it, from Shah. He's gone for one run, 29 through, as we've seen, that skinny nature. So, uh, already... Hey, we're gone. What already do you do now? You have to go hard someplace. 140, you'll still have to go some to get there. Yeah. Oh, it's nice to see some turn. It's asking a lot of different questions now, the batting. Early on, we saw Brendan McCallum having a chat to the troops, and he would have been happy early on, a wicket straight away. Bucker doing a good job with his two overs. Just a little bit of rotation of strike. He actually hit that really well, didn't he? And found out Narayan on the boundary. Then we saw some turn. Turning square. He's excited. Turn on Narayan. Yeah, he would have liked to have had six overs so he could bowl Narayan for <laughs> another couple. Now, Salman Irshad, he's played two years ago, three, 2015, he played for Azad Kashmir. Just three T20s domestically. Then Lahore Kalandas had this big trials where he was spotted. He's supposed to be very quick, a little round armish. Oh God, straight away is it? Oh. Outside edge, first ball, Miss Barrow Huck. Slingy, wasn't he? A little bit less in Malinga. No, it was, there was a bit of Malinga about that one and it had great pace, excellent line, excellent length there. So landing it straight into that pathway to the Pavilion and we see Miss Bar. Never seen him before, hitting high, splice on the back, following it, and you can see the pace take it around shoulder height. What an amazing introduction into the Pakistan Super League. The captain's got to go for four. In Islamabad United, 29 for three. Away from Miss Baral Hutt in that last delivery, so he'll be charging in. Oh, yeah, well, that's going to run fine, and you won't stop it. But that slingy action, that is very Malinga. Comes in and then it's a real round arm release. 
An eye opener for, well, that's the dismissal. That's just a perfect first delivery. Yeah. Look at Ramden, he's taking it. It almost took him back a couple of yards. Baz, it's amazing how these youngsters get plucked very quickly out of the system in Pakistan. And it might be just a, a net session. They're spotted and they can get get through the system quickly. Correct, and you, Lahore Kalandas do this every year. They have massive drive where loads of people turn up. And this guy was talked up and because he comes from a, a region where cricket isn't very popular, before even before the tournament started, all his his fellow mates in, in the city were so excited. They did a feature <laughs> on him and everybody was out on town. Oh, now great. he's got the perfect start as well. He where did sharp. he grow up? Azad Kashmir. Okay. It's not a huge cricket playing nation. Yeah. Region. Great to see him here. Well, he might inspire oh, a few youngsters with that action and pace. Mick, and getting a wicket in his first ball. And let's have a look. You talked about that side um, action. So it's a good athletic approach. Let's just see what he is in the back foot. I imagine he's very side on. Oh, he's reasonably front on. And you see he releases over about middle stump. So when you're batting, boys, you're actually looking at a spot, you know. And that one, well, he's, he's bowling right over the top of off stump. You see, he falls away. Yeah. But look at look at his wrist, though. It's in a really good position for an outswinger. So there's a lot of things going against each other there. Yeah. Everyone does it differently, don't they? And Malinga would be further, release point further Over in front of the stump. umpire. Especially in a T20 game, he's only got four overs to bowl. For a batsman to size him up is so difficult with that round arm. That's why it's good to have different bowlers, isn't it? That, that bowl differently. Left arm quick, a right arm quick, off spinner, leg spinner. Still got plenty to bat here, United. The run rate's a concern, though. It's 3.96. But Baz is doing a good job as captain. I think he got his field settings right. He's going to spend some time with the youngsters. He's rotated the bowlers, hadn't he? You haven't got, had a chance to get into a rhythm against one type. Why did he stop everyone from seeing his conversation then so we couldn't lip read it the commentary gonna spread the word what's going on out there that's the end of the ninth over 36 for three united really underachieved but there's it's, a, it's, it's not a bad squad it's got to learn that feeling i think Well, we've seen it in T20 competitions before. If you can just sneak into that fourth position, but you're coming off momentum. You only need to have two good games and, yes. and, and you win the title. Yeah. Yeah, you've got to sneak into that four, yep. don't you? The home and away is irrelevant. Mind you, though, they haven't won one yet, so tonight is crucial. You just think in their campaign tonight is absolutely crucial. Well, I th certainly think, Baz, they've got a very good bowling lineup. If they can score totals or keep the, uh, the opposition down, um, the, the bowlers are going to come into play. They just need to play 20 overs. We haven't seen them play 20. They play 6 overs, then lose it, or 10 overs, then lose it. Just put up a game, structured game of 20 overs. Question yeah. for Slats, though. We're right next to the dugout. We see the batsman here jumping up and down and sort of trying to get revved up to bat inside. Ian Bishop is very big on this. He thinks that there should be a baseball side hitting zone for batsmen to warm yep. up. Especially certainly, for T20. Certainly in this, this mode of the game. I'm surprised there isn't some sort of setup like that now. A bit like baseball style. Just Correct. get in there, size it up, start hitting the ball. Winviz suggesting that Lahore, well, it might be their win. 80% chance from this point. And that's using data, opposition against each other the fact that uh, there's there's stats on playing at these grounds so that's how all that comes together but what you're talking about baz I, I suggest in years to come that'll just be standard there'll be yeah. a net there'll be a warm-up net where they can hit straight away and, and walk out to the middle well the fact that they rope off such a an area now i mean look at the territory we've got from the advertising board to here you could have a hitting zone and a net right here yep have it in front of the stand that the spectators would love it you could do some throwdowns mick get in there sue jones wouldn't <laughs> yeah does he do throwdowns with a suit on 40 for three for three they've lost their captain as well miss ball huck 
undone by the Kashmiri. Fast bowler caught behind. Right, we've got Inzi in the house. We've got Mudassa Nazar in the house as well. And JP Domini gets a Jaffa. How do you play that? You get down on bended knees and pray. And he almost did. It's pitched outside leg. Oh, wow. Wow. Good luck getting Willow on that one. Yeah, once he gets the ball to spin, then we know what Sunil Narayan can do. He can absolutely cause havoc. From away towards down the leg side, it spun across and beat him outside the off stump. Now, we know about the, the degrees of spin. What about the degrees of difficulty? Can we map that? Graphics get busy. Love it. Summit Patel, he's not the worst. He's done all right for knots in recent years. No, he's good against spin. I think he's, it's a good move. He's trying something different here, Islamabad United. Ball by ball highlights. Visit Crick and Jeff. Got calm. Oh, it's stopping and spinning. Uh, he's been phenomenal today. Give him a bit of spin and this is what he can produce. An unplayable spell. Miss Balak trying to force his way through. JP Dumini is an excellent player of spin and he was all at sea against him. Just with regular precision, he bamboozles you all the time. And given conditions like this, Rambo, that suit him, becomes even more difficult to try and negotiate. Knowing Brendan McCullum, you can expect him to take maybe a gully as well. He's got a slip in place. Hoga South Pakistan, it's a cleanliness initiative. So please keep Pakistan clean. Lean, clean and mean, aren't you, you guys? Absolutely. You always were. <laughs> slip in a gully in place, that's a good move. You expect Oi. this from Brendan McCullum. All out attack from the skipper. 44 for 3. Coming hard. Dean Jones is not happy, Chappie. Talking to himself. The good thing is he's got himself front and centre though. So they can at least get involved in all that energy he's uh, trying to export out on the field. Big shot, no, not really, he's in business again. Sunil Narayan takes his second catch and it's a miscue from some, from uh, Samit Patel. The owner is happy and Kalandas after a long wait are displaying their skills. I think Patel had to go, didn't he? He had intent, unfortunately got it really low down the bat. If he'd got it in the middle, it would have went for six. I think it was the right process from Patel, he didn't quite execute, but yes, he's Shah and Sun on Narayan combining, they're going to combine a lot here. So Patel out for nine, it's 44. And he's got the perfect arsenal, Brendan McCullum, to tax them and take them on. Very good spin bowling attack, this. Well, you just don't get into um, a routine against a similar bowler, do you? They're all bowl something different. Just see the slog sweep, good intent, almost hit spider cam there. But it's spinner cam at the moment. Yes, he's Shah and Narayan combining in the field, but they've been brilliant with the ball as well. Hey! Yeah, I've got high respect and high regard for Brendan McCullum as a skipper uh, because he, he makes your spin department think aggressively. So he could be a great tutor for somebody like uh, Yasser Shah. I remember under Imran our leg spinners used to do so well because he used to trust in them and give them attacking feel and that made them looking for wickets all the time. And he said that to you at the toss. He said we're going to go up front, not quite sure because of all the rain around and the cover's on but he's read it beautifully and he has to be aggressive. They need points. They've lost three from three. 
And this is another great platform. Can they dine out Lahore? Oh, he's good. Six. What a shot. Jeppe Dumini. 50 comes out with a thrashing six over cover. All class, all perfection. Great shot from the left-hander. It's 52 for four.